in Nanuya Island and we're gonna get stuck straight into it. No wasting time when you've got conditions like that out there. We're just gonna um, yeah, hoon out to a little reef that we know and get onto some maybe Spanny Mac and maybe some other fish. I should stop saying the name of the fish that we're targeting because it always jinxes it. But um, yeah, cannot wait. It's good to be back. Good to meet up with Tavita and the boys and yeah, you're gonna love this. This is the accommodation that we're staying in. So it's, it's fairly basic, but it does the job and the food here is wicked. So hopefully we can bring back some fish for dinner. So this is the accommodation. We got some eggs, noodles, and almost immediately we just exploded everything out. This diver mon is making an appearance. And something that's really, really cool and completely out of the blue, we've just bumped into Novis spearfishing. So we're going to take them out on the boat and yeah, hopefully get onto some good fish. So we're on the boat and we're going out and we're joined by Reese. Yeah, what a coincidence. Crazy, hey. I know, it's funny because a good friend of mine went diving with you earlier in the year, Sam. Yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, gnarly. And I was just like, oh, wow, that's lucky. That's crazy because yeah. I, I bumped into, so I bumped into Sam literally on the day as well. We just like went out for yeah, a dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. So, all right. Let's rock and roll. It's got the PD 3000. And I want to say a quick little thank you to Lucas and Reese for lending me the drone footage as my drone controller had died. We get straight into it. I load up the 85 but quickly switch to the 115. This reef is looking fishy. I haven't dove it in about five months but I managed to work out exactly where I wanted to be on the reef on particular tides for it to fire and it is an absolutely wicked spot. Here I'm just drifting along the edge of the reef and keep an eye out for coronation trout. This is the perfect way to ambush these suckers. You've basically just got to be on top of them and have quick reactions. Reese takes a shot at a Spanish mackerel, unfortunately misses and calls us in. I've shot plenty of mackerel, so I thought it'd be a good idea to get Mon onto another Walu. Mon dives down. The fish is on the retreat, but decides to turn in slightly. She takes the shot, and she gets the fish. Now she's got a good holding shot on this fish, so there's no need to assist. I can just film and check out the beauty and the patterns on this fish as Mon hauls it in. She brings it up to the surface. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice call, bro. I missed him. I don't know. Oh, so close. Oh, no way. Turning my GoPro on. Yeah. Fucking around with it. Oh, As with all the fish, they get ickied before being bled shortly after. This is to ensure a quick humane death and optimise meat quality. Well done. What have you got? I've got four fish. That's your first. You're full of shit. I've got another walu. <laughs> the walu. Woohoo! And that's thanks to Reese giving a shout out for yeah. Spanning Mac. Okay. Alright, high five. This reef is an absolutely beautiful spot with so many unique coral structures, fan corals, you name it, it's got it. Here's Mon on a dive down with a grey reef shark just cruising around her, cool sight. General rule of thumb, where there's sharks, there's mackerel. Here I found a black plastic bag floating about and it had a golden trevally baby on it, which was pretty cute. I saw this mackerel from the surface and it was making its way quite quickly off away from me. I dove down tried the old smack the bands tactic and sometimes that can work after looking away but this time it didn't, it never came back. The Golden Trevally decided to make friends with Mon.
Here you can see a lovely passion fruit trout. Now, I could have taken the shot, but I probably would have done a bit of damage to the reef, so I held off, waited until it cleared, and it just outmaneuvered me. Clever little coral trout. But as always, don't give up. Some other fish could come along and always check your surroundings. And that's exactly what I do here. Going up to the surface, just having a last little spin round, and boom, Spanish mackerel coming in. Sorry bud, wrong day. Now, I haven't sped that bit up, that was just how quick that Spanish mackerel moved. I didn't realize that my reel was loose, so it peeled a whole heap of line when I didn't necessarily want it to. I'm quite distant from everybody else at this point, like 80 meters or so. I've gone off on my own, following my own little bit of reef, and that's why I'm making these noises to try and attract everybody else in. Now I get the mackerel close to the surface and I can see he's really close to tearing out. He's gone through a good bit of bone, but it is a, there's a lot of tear damage and I do not want to lose this fish, so it's just play the fish gently, gently, bring it in and tire it out so it can't do any more of these big runs and just try and work out when is the right moment to go for the grab. So you want to keep the tension on the line but then release it if it goes for a run. And jump. Hand on the tail, straight in the gills. This fish is now secured. Quickly time to put it out of its misery. Not before telling the boat captain that I've got a mackerel so he can come over to me in the event of when I bleed it, sharks appear. Passing the mackerel up and I'm stoked. Now it's time to get Reese onto a mackerel. <laughs> now Reese has been diving in Fiji for a little while so he knows the lingo and he knows how to act around these fish. It's quite similar to hunting Spanish mackerel in Queensland um, but certain tactics work a bit different. As you can see this reef is absolutely exploding with life on this side and this is where I had initially wanted us to get dropped. Um, it just took a little while to find it without a GPS. So here we are and yeah, I make the call. Are you going to see a GP or like bluefin or a walu in the next 10 minutes on this bit? We're back on Reese now, he's diving down and he's got a moo in his sights. But he can hear me shouting, turns around, puts a shot into the walu, the walu darts around, hears it from my angle. I'm already cheering, I'm just stoked, I love seeing a Spanish mackerel get smacked and then it run. It's really, really cool. They can just give such a quick burst of energy and gain serious meters. That's mad. I realized that the shot placement goes through the guts and I'm worried about tearing off so I asked Reese if he wants a second shot and sure enough he does so we wait. The fish is a bit awkward but it gives me a shot and bang. Straight through you Philip. Sorry Reese. With the second spear through the fish, it's definitely on the bag. So we bring it up to the surface. Oh, no way! I don't know if I would have got it. And then I heard you go, Sorry, mate, you feel that, mate? So there we go. All three of us have managed to bag ourselves a Walu. Mon first, me second, and Reese last. But not least. Oh. I think the footage will be really good because um, they came down towards the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit unique. Yeah, dude. And they're really fing strange here. So, one shot one like two weeks ago and it ran itself onto the reef. Yeah. That's, I've never seen them do that. Kingfish style. Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a really cool experience to come out and just quickly tap into some mackerel for dinner. Good to get one in too. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, it'll be rude to come out here and not get a, a wallow. As you can hear, the boat's coming over the top of me. It's time to go back. I decided to go down for one last dive because I wanted this mangrove jack. I'd seen him from the surface and yeah, just had to work out how to play it. They can spook quite easily sometimes and there was no real bit of reef or ledge that he was hanging on to. He seemed to be passing through. So I needed to make my plan quickly and dive down and take the shot. The dive was roughly an hour, maybe even a bit under an hour according to the GoPros. But yeah, when you know your spots and I've got some of Fiji dialed in, it's good to go. I bring it to the surface and he's just an awesome colour. I love the diversity in the colour of the mangrove jacks and that's just as true for the colour as it is for the flavour. Little jack! Little jack! Good, I to stuck to that. Damn. I just shot him GTs, everything. Yeah, yeah just on the stick for Alright, so I always feel like a bit of a dick when I'm filming everybody unloading. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways because of love a bit of B-roll. There's a couple of Walu. Oh. Got. Might take these ones straight up from here, Phil. Hello. Sweet lip. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. One second. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <Chill out. laughs> Woo. Not bad for an hour's meat run. Not bad. Hello on him. Beautiful. Damu. So we're basically gonna just yeah, take all our stuff in, wash it fresh water, and then uh, get photos with fish and then eat. Watch this. Alright. One, two, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, quick little reef mission out with no viz, and uh, we did all right, hey? Yeah. Hey. Uh, to <laughs> especially for like an hour or so. Yeah, while there's a reef Fiji provides, now we're gonna cook up. Tasty one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good size one. That's flat. Alright, so here we have tonight's dinner. Walu. It's Fanny Mac. A lovely cold pour and some rice. <laughs> Unfortunately the GoPro died and we didn't capture the eating on film but we all thoroughly enjoyed it, I promise you that. Until next time guys, stay wet, stay fed, catch ya.